this is uh, our first uh, glow sticking interview officially. So exactly what is your GSC name? Um, I actually consider my GSC name my real name. It's Matt Raver Ray and um, I consider Ray Sarian as my slave name. So Matt Raver Ray, how long have you been glow sticking for? I think we're on about uh, six years, maybe a little bit over. When you first started dancing with glow sticks, what was was it called glow sticking at that time? Um, actually, I started uh, learning at the time when raving was considered the term for glow sticking. That's actually wrong since raving is the act of going to a rave. <laughs> but um, uh, the two friends that taught me, uh, Cherik and Koki, they, they called it that. They said, you know, you have to rave and, and do all this and whatever. And um, after that first time when I saw them do it, like, I fell in love with it right away. How did you find out about GlowSticking.com? Uh, I was searching for videos and GlowSticking.com you know, was pretty much the only place you could find videos. The first video I saw on the homepage was Chen's GlowSticking video on the rooftop in Japan and I was humbled right away because I'd already been GlowSticking for a year being taught by Koki and Cherik, who were pretty much um, uh, some of the best in on the East Coast, and you know, I, I also thought that you know I must have been, since I was taught by them, that I would have some pretty advanced techniques. And I was really wrong about that. <laughs> what has glow sticking done for your life? Glow sticking has changed the way I view things. I'm definitely more open to try new things and I've met a lot of great friends through Glow Sticking and GlowSticking.com that I know I will be friends with for the rest of my life. Um, I always say uh, as a motto, my own personal motto, that Glow Sticking isn't my hobby, Glow Sticking is my lifestyle. Still today, you're an, a very important man and an inspiration to the freehanding community with your unique style. What are tips or advice you could give to the future generation of freehanders? Um, when I first started, all I did was tossing. I just practiced that horizontal helicopter and heli tosses for a straight year without doing anything else. And everyone kept telling me uh, uh, to practice tracing. All I have to say is, with practice, you know, it makes perfect. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard that before. And whatever you feel strongly about, like that move that you love, uh, that technique that you always do, if you feel that that's what you should be focusing on, just go ahead and do it and just refine it and refine it till you have your very own special technique.